President Joe Biden is set to host the leaders of Japan and South Korea at Camp David on August 18th. For almost a century, Camp David has served as a recreational retreat for first families as well as a space for presidential diplomacy. Tucked away in the hills of Catoctin Mountain Park in Frederick County, Maryland, Camp David offers a variety of recreational activities for presidents and their guests, such as horseback riding, hiking, and fishing. During Franklin Roosevelt's administration, the camp was known as Shangri-La, but then was later changed by President Eisenhower in honor of his grandson, David. The name has stuck ever since. Camp David is located about 60 miles outside of Washington, D.C. It's just a 30-minute helicopter ride. And since the FDR administration, since 1942, it's been used by every president in different ways. Uh, FDR first used it for recreation and diplomacy, which really are the two biggest reasons that presidents have used Camp David throughout history. And he had Winston Churchill, for example, come to Camp David to talk about the Normandy invasion and what was happening during World War II. The informal setting of Camp David allows world leaders to make personal connections amid diplomatic and political conversations. Another one of the visitors that I find really interesting is that in 1959, President Eisenhower had Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev visit Camp David. And that was the first time that a Soviet leader had ever visited the United States for a formal state visit. So it was a pretty big deal that he had Khrushchev come to Camp David. And we even know that they watched movies together there. Among other notable visits, President Jimmy Carter hosted the leaders of Egypt and Israel for the Camp David Accords in 1978. And in 1984, President Ronald Reagan hosted then British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. So the president who spent the most time at Camp David was President Ronald Reagan. Reagan really enjoyed visiting Camp David. He and First Lady Nancy Reagan enjoyed just going and spending time together there as a couple. They would go horseback riding there. So we know that he spent the most time out of any president there, but a few have liked it better than others. Um, president Nixon, President George W. Bush, they also really enjoyed spending time in the outdoors there. So they're among the, those who visited the most. There has only ever been one wedding at Camp David, and that was President George H.W. Bush's daughter, Dorothy, in 1992. And in 2012, President Barack Obama hosted the G8 Summit there, which was the largest gathering of world leaders at Camp David. President Joe Biden continues to frequent Camp David, and his meeting there with the Japanese and South Korean leaders will be added to a long list of historic diplomatic visits. For the Associated Press in Washington, I'm Mike Fasoli.